I heard with another market watch for August for uh, Marion Station, and there wasn't like much activity at all. So I'm also going to show what happened in Gladwin because there wasn't really much uh, action there either. And I just arbitrarily picked Gladwin. Um, so the market has shifted. I'm sure you've heard. We are seeing longer days on market and then also a few more price drops like all over LM and the rest of like the main line basically. But it is by no means a buyer's market. Uh, it is still very much a seller's market. There is just not any inventory. Like as you can see, if you scroll through LM right now, there's just like no inventory. So because there's no inventory, it's like if a good home comes up at a good price point, it's still going to go quick. We were seeing that across the board. The homes are still getting like over asking, just not to the astronomical degree they were. So if you've been thinking of selling, it's still like a pretty good time. It's, I mean, early in the spring, yeah, people were getting crazy offers. It's not like that, but you're still like consistently five, like zero to five percent above asking, as long as you price it right. That's like a big caveat. Um, homes are staying a little longer now, and I think. The homes are staying longer because again sellers are still kind of experiencing that like they're getting used to like oh i can't just put this crazy price up there and sell so that might have something to do with it also in the summer buyers and people in general just are on vacation they have stuff to do moving is not a top priority so in the fall it usually picks up a bit uh before the holidays certainly so yeah if you've been thinking of selling um you know if you can get in there before the holidays i, I think it's a good time to sell because there's no inventory uh, and then like I have, well, me and like every other realtor out there has several buyers that would love to get in Marion Station. Um, as you know, there's just not that much inventory that comes up. So if you've been thinking, even if you want just like a quick, you know, you don't want to go public on the market and deal with all that stuff, you know, reach out. Maybe it's a good fit. If it isn't, great. We could work something out. If not, you know, then no worries. All right. So here's Marion Station. There are just a few homes that are active. Um, couple of them had higher price tags and you know now that with the school you're starting maybe they'll get them but there might have to be a couple extra price drops um couple homes so this one actually just went under or pending i think yesterday and uh valley road this one was up they did a good job that was on briefly off then they you know did some painting this that the other thing they got it looking sharp and then then they got it on a contract the first weekend when they relisted it so that's like a huge thing and as a compass agent we have access to compass concierge where we front money for sellers to fix their place up and then you just pay us back when the home sells interest free so it's kind of a win-win for everyone this one on Winding Way, uh, it was listed at 1295. That was just like a madhouse the first couple of days. It was active and that went way above asking. Um, didn't even have like a, you know, that part, the plot lines are a little interesting. Didn't really have much of the backyard, but the kitchen and well, I'll, I'll show you. Again, you have access to this too, so you can see it. The kitchen is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the pictures do not do it justice. The master bath is like flawless. So they did an amazing job on the interior of their home. And they got, yeah, they got a good um, a good amount for that. And I'm not sure when that will close. This one on Sunway closed for 431. And then this one on Idris closed for 405. And that was, that's it for, for Marion Station. Um, so you're yeah, not a lot to talk about. I mean, this one on Revere, that it's, this one's an interesting one, like it kind of sticks out. And, um, you know, that's a pretty aggressive price for that area. So we'll see what happens with it. All right, now we're going to Gladwin. So this one on Marion Square, uh, that's just like, that's right on, it's a tough exact location, but the interior of that looks great. This one on Aloha is going for four, six. Um, we'll see how, you know, what happens with that. This one's been sitting a bit. Winston, that's been sitting a little bit too. Uh, Writer's Mill, again, like, so you won't have access. If you want to check out these homes or any other, like, Lower Marion homes and you want access, just message me and I can get you this collection because you have access to the Marion Station one and you can go through that. But uh, if you want to go through all these pictures, like, for all the other homes, just feel free to message me and I can get that to you. So a couple, Waverly, that one's pending. A couple on Lafayette are pending. This one on Dodd's closed for... 315 and that was 10% below asking. I mean, the property is gorgeous. It's it's enormous. Um, I mean, it needs, yeah, it's a little outdated inside. 
But whoever bought that, I'm sure they're going to make it insanely nice. This one on Robin Road right next to the golf course, uh, close for 165. That was 6% above asking. And then this one on Hardtail, close for 119. That was 12% below asking. And that was on the market for 30 days. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So yeah, it's the same old story. There's just no inventory. Um, there's still a lot of buyers trying to get into Lower Marion, and there's just not a lot of people selling. So if you know anyone who is trying to sell, or if you personally are trying to sell, and you don't really know where to start, or you're just kind of wondering what the value of your home is in this like new market, my contact info is below. Just reach out, and we'd love to come in, tell you. We can even come in and be like, hey, you know, if you want to maximize your value, uh, change the carpets here, or like paint there, or like do some hardscaping, landscaping, etc. So all that's fair play, and that's it. Uh, have a great month. Let's go birds and I'll see you next time.